Hello and welcome to another Stronghold Warlords development update from the folks here at Firefly Studios. And in case you're wondering, no, I still haven't had my hair cut yet. Today's free update, which is now available on both Steam and GOG, adds our first post-release AI character to the game in the form of Sun Tzu, as well as invasions for free build mode and a new map. AI Invasions has been a popular post-release update for the last few Stronghold titles and Warlords will be no different, allowing you to send wave after wave of AI Invasion against your carefully constructed castle. The addition of a new AI character, meanwhile, is something we're pleased to make available in both Skirmish Mode and Multiplayer, along with new maps offering players the kind of variety that they're after in Warlords. So without further ado, let's take a look at the new features being added as part of our first major content update for Stronghold Warlords. As a legendary tactician, Sun Tzu attacks at the most opportune moment in a skirmish match. Now, this may seem as though he is not much of a threat to begin with, but I assure you, he is merely biding his time. Training an impressive strategic army of crossbowmen, imperial warriors, guardsmen, cavalry, bannermen, and generals, Sun Tzu protects his valuable soldiers with mantlets, whilst also providing anti-castle and anti-infantry siege weapons in the form of huacha and trebuchets. Let it loose! Choosing only to train heavily armoured imperial class units, it takes this rival AI a little while to get his economy going. Once he's up and running, however, expect an impressive show of strength in the form of expertly crafted siege armies. Attacking Sun Tzu early on in a skirmish match is therefore the wise choice, as the longer you wait, the more likely you are to go up against forces buffed by generals and bannermen. In addition, his castle is well structured with a compact series of walls and, in a nod to classic stronghold strategies, some densely packed towers. Sun Tzu's demand for powerful siege weapons and expensive units means his economy is propped up by selling surplus weaponry, rather than developing an extensive popularity-based economy. Because of this, Sun Tzu is limited to just a few Bad Lord Fear Factor buildings to give his forces a boost without unbalancing his fragile economy. Or ego. Now, moving on to free build invasions. For those of you who aren't aware, these are essentially controls in free build mode, allowing you to send invasions of varying shapes, sizes, and difficulties to go up against your ultimate stronghold. Now, this will give the game's sandbox construction mode more flexibility, advanced options, and the aforementioned ability to send AI invasions up against your castle. Here's a few examples just to get your siege buds tingling. Samurai Showdown. Pillars of Flame. We need fire, not water. War Under Heaven. And Ignite. Available now, these new controls will allow for AI invasions, but we're also adding a few custom controls in there as well. Players can add random medieval events, use a dynamic difficulty option to adjust the strength of AI invasions, and a third thing, which I've forgotten now. <laughs> gold, gold, damn it! Players can add random medieval events, adjust the difficulty on the fly using dynamic difficulty options, and even cheat a little bit by giving themselves some extra gold. A large bribe! Now, following on from the official roadmap reveal, we've had lots of questions from people about whether we're going to be doing paid DLC for the game. Obviously, in that video itself, we answered that yes, we will be doing DLC for the game. Uh, and we can actually reveal today that the first piece of paid DLC will be the Art of War single player campaign. Now, this new narrative campaign will follow six years of castle sieges and skirmishes following the fall of the Western Zhou dynasty. Just like our main single player campaigns available in the Warlords base game, Sun Tzu's story will be told over the course of six challenging single player missions and will be available for five dollars, four euros or three and a half pounds. Now in terms of difficulty, you can expect a challenge along the lines of the latter single player campaign missions included in the base game, uh, with the extreme difficulty of course now available if you just want to go full masochist and just hurt yourself. <laughs> The Art of War campaign will also come with two new warlords in the form of the Rat and the Panda, as well as new achievements for players to chase down. There's also three new skirmish maps coming, which will be added as a free content update for all players. We'll be providing more detail on the free maps as well as the warlords campaign and achievements here on YouTube, so be sure to keep a lookout if you aren't already. 
So there you have it, our first major free content update for Stronghold Boards and some info on how we'll be managing downloadable content for the game as well. We hope you've enjoyed the updates we've released so far for Stronghold Warlords and please do give us feedback on the version 1.2 content we're releasing today uh, and that leads us on to, no prizes for guessing this, version 1.3. We'll have more information on this update in the coming weeks, but for now, please do let us know what you think of the new AI, free build invasions, and our new larger build area maps in the official Discord. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, please do give us a like and subscribe here to Firefly Studios on YouTube for more Stronghold Warlords and Romans Age of Caesar content every week.